So this is my setup. It is a it is an 80 inch, six degree of freedom, robotic monitor mount. So uh, 80 inches. So if this thing were to uh, extend all the way, it'd be about about the size of this bed, a little bit longer. If uh, and uh, six degree of freedom, so I can rotate it about the shoulder here. So it'd be uh, the shoulder. I can rotate it about the shoulder. And uh, I can rotate it about the, uh, the elbow. This, is, this would be a, a powered uh, joint as well. Uh, so if I want to if I want to move this side down, I would point uh, my thumb that way. If I want the switch to go that way. Um, so I can, I can power the elbow. I can power the um, wrist. I can move it up or I can move it down. Um, so that's three degrees of freedom. We have the shoulder, the elbow, and I guess the wrist. And then um, on the, uh, the end effector here, we have, technically this is also a degree of freedom, but I, I consider it not to be. So um, we're not gonna count this one. But on just the, uh, this, this head piece here, I have three degrees of freedom, and they're all, they're all just for rotation. I can, uh, I have pitch, so I can, I can rotate it like this. I have yaw. So I can rotate it like this. And I have roll, so I can rotate it like this. And that's all to get it exactly, exactly perfectly where I want it. So I can get comfortable and then have the machine move to me. I shouldn't have to move for the machine. Um, everything uh, that you see that is shiny, except for these three motors, are uh, made out of uh, metallic conduit or for in the case of, which is what you run wires through, um, like, in, like in buildings and stuff like that. Except for this piece here, this is actually made out of uh, Schedule 40 pipe, so it's a lot thicker. Um, everything that is black and white uh, will be made out of uh, 3D printed PETG. Um, and all the things that move are like, a, like that gear, um, or that, that the elbow, everything that's like circular and moves is used is made using uh, planetary gears um, with herringbone gears. Um, so uh, the planetary gear with herringbone gears allows me to uh, not just use them radially as bearings, because um, bearings are expensive, I can just use these 3D printed plastic, um, but they're also, because they're herringbone gears, they resist um, uh, axial forces, thrust forces. So they're not gonna like come out of place, and I don't have to worry about that. So. I can have you know some fancy stuff like this where it's just being held. Uh, this is just being held by the uh, by the herringbone gears, um, and because you know it's low enough for us, there's almost no friction here. It's it's quite nice. Um, it does look like there's a lot of jiggle, but the jiggle's not that bad because the entire bed is jiggling. Um, my mount is actually quite firm in, in regards to. I say that as it's jiggling. But the entire my entire mount is actually quite firm. Um, it's this headboard and all the way down to the ground that actually shakes the most. Um, it, it shakes this much even if it's not mounted. Um, but you're, you're bouncing with the bed. So your, your head and the monitor mount are about bouncing at about the same rate. You can't really, it, it, they, they bounce together so you don't really uh, notice. Um, and it does die down pretty quickly and if you are bothered by it, you can just steady it and it won't be an issue. Um, and of course, there are uh, some screws here and there to, to hold it in place. Um, it is attached to the bed uh, non-destructively, so that when I'm done here, you won't even be able to tell that I had it mounted here. Um, I want to leave things better than when I got here, or at least in the same condition. Um, I think that's everything. This is my, my college battle station. Thank you. Thank you for watching.